yummy, 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 yummy. Big, 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 big fat butt. Big, 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 big fat butt. So today's Friday, and a big issue typically on Fridays is Vegas traffic. There's a huge traffic jam all the way to Vegas, and I'd like to beat that. The only thing that's gonna stop us from beating that is this. There's only two reasons I joined the United States Marine Corps, and that's to get that free front row parking at Lowe's, and to get that zero down payment loan on the puppy house. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, calm down. <gasps> Puppy dog, he looks like he doesn't like me. It's okay, I don't like me either. This better work. I swear this thing was labeled for $19. It cost me $43.08. Okay, so this is gonna be really tough because I don't have any help. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to disassemble this refrigerator and then I'm gonna have to try to carry it outside all by my lonesome. Unless you're gonna help me. Are you gonna help me? You're not gonna help me. I don't even know what to say. I'm missing <sighs> stupid toolkit I got didn't have the right piece in it. It just was too big, so hopefully this one works. All right, so we're gonna remove the doors off the fridge, but first I need to get into fridge moving position. There we go, all right, here we go. Okay, I was trying to give the bells the veggies, but they spilled everywhere. But the bears are still eating them. She's still a very good girl. Yeah, the bears are so healthy. Bears, do you eat lima beans? I feel like you wouldn't like those. Here, eat this. Eat it. Oh, she ate it all up. That's a very healthy bears. All right, Mr. Fridge. It's been a great two years, and you've done me well. But it's time to power you down. I've never used a dolly before. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, Bez. That, that's the best invention of my life I've ever seen, ever. What do you think, Bez? You love dollies? Do you love dollies, Bez? Yeah, you do? Come here, come say bye to the fridge, Bez. Say bye, fridge. She says, nope, potty time. Nope, come on, let's go. All right, you had your chance. I hope you don't miss the fridge. All right, my dudes, free fridge. It works perfectly. It's got all the pieces inside, and it even, it even comes with some TJA. Fire sauce is an added bonus. All right, so this process is moving along. We got the fridge gone. We spilled some water out of the fridge. It looks like we got to clean it up. And Biz, you didn't even finish eating your vegetables. So there's a couple errands I got to go run right now. Like I got to go return my Cox cable box. I got to go and talk to the leasing office, stuff like that. Stuff I'm not going to bother to record. But I will see you when we are back with the Mrs. Bales and we are in a further situation than we're in right now. The Bales' tail might even be a little bit longer. You never know. Delink really wanted me to go here one time before I leave. This is like a car wash, but it's not automatic. You got these dudes and they do it for you. It's like 20 bucks and then they vacuum it out for you. Okay, this is my favorite part of the car wash. Usually when you get to this point and these things are blowing, I never know exactly where to have my car. The thing's got the conveyor belt. It's just taking me along and hopefully it gets an even blowy boy on the blowy Bob Nation train. All right, check this out. I guess we just go, we sit over here and the Papa Prius gets cleaned. Actually, they got like stuff in here. Let's go see what they got. Ho, 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 ho. Guys, I find this so funny. This is the kind of stuff Delink does. He comes, he's got his truck over there. He probably sits like this and he just watches. Wow, it looks good. It looks good, dude. That was only like 15 bucks and I gave him a $6 tip because he was sitting here cleaning for like ever. It's just very important that nobody sends me any more mail to this post office, okay? If you do, I'll probably still get it because I set up a forwarding address, but just wait. Just freaking wait till I open up my new one where I'm moving. All right, Bales. We are officially in leave right now mode. It's very urgent, okay? We gotta go. So, Bales, we're gonna do one last walkthrough. This is my apartment that I have spent the last several months in. It's been great to me. It's been amazing. It's been wonderful. I've loved it, but it's time. It's time to go, it's time to get out of here. It's time to get the Bales, her famous yard that she so desires. Right, Bales? Right? Right? The Bales is like, I hope you're not leaving me. I hope you're not bringing me to the shelter like that last person did. That awful last person, they just didn't want me, but they were crazy, because I'm awesome. I'm the Bales, and I like to go outside. You wanna go outside? It's gonna be your last time going outside. Enjoy it, bye. They said if you think there's a chance that your rugs are gonna be too dirty and we're gonna have to clean them, just don't even bother because you're gonna have to pay anyway. So I'm just kind of accepting that they're gonna have to have someone come in here to clean. Plus, I'm running late. So this is gonna be it. I want you to say goodbye, Beers. Say bye to your apartment. You spent a lot of time in here. 
She's like, I don't even know what's going on. All right, go. Up in the car. So for now, you gotta stay in there. We're gonna open up a lot more room later. It's just I borrowed some stuff from some people. I gotta go give it back. But we are pretty packed up. We got all this stuff right here. We got the Benelli, which by the way, I was supposed to give this Benelli back to SSR and they told me that I can just keep it and keep riding it. They literally hit me up just last night and they were like, dude, just keep the bike. If you like the bike, just keep it. I've had it for so long and I really like it. It's not the fastest bike in the world, but it gets the job done and it's great to have a spare bike. After I sold Philosophicus, this is gonna be my new spare. So welcome to the family, Benelli. We're gonna come up with a stupid name for you. We're taking off. We're taking off as well. We have to go to Chaparral to get the caffeinator and mustache. But for now, we are taking off. This is my apartment complex, everybody. Everyone's always trying to find it. Some people have found it. Some people have told me my address, and I really don't know what to think about that. I mean, it's okay, I guess. But before we leave, I have to quickly park. I have to go into the leasing office, and I have to give them my keys. So I got my keys. I'm gonna go give them to the office. We'll see if they accept them, and I will give you an update in the year 1969. All right, we're done. We're done up in the hood, Bales. We donezo. Dunzo's ones is I had to pay $3,000 to get out of here. Isn't that freaking stupid? That's freaking stupid if you ask me. It was like a penalty fee because I'm leaving early. Should be like $2,000 or like zero for me. All right, Bale, so without any further ado, we are off. This is my town, Rancho Santa Margarita, California. I'm gonna really miss it. Look at this. This is the beautiful lake view. I love it so much. The Bales always loves to walk around that lake. She's gonna miss it quite a lot. So I've lived in this town for the past two years, but I've been coming here for the past five. This is actually where my ex-wife grew up, awkwardly enough. And I like it, it's a really good town. The only thing is it's so populated that there's always huge, especially like around three to 6 p.m. You can't even freaking drive on the road. It's just like red lights and huge lines. As you can see, there's a big line piling up ahead right now. And I'm gonna be sitting in it in about four, three, two, one. And now I'm freaking sitting in this line and there's a line every freaking 20 feet because there's too many people in this town. So there's going to be one less person, one less bail. All right. We are here at the shabby boy. Bales. We're here at the shabby boy. All right. So. We have got, no, 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 you can't come out yet. I've driven across the country twice with motorcycles, but it was Philosophicus and the Cathinator. That was a lot lighter load than this, and that was with a big truck, 5.7 Hemi. So this is going to be crazy. Plus, we got all this stuff inside. I don't even know. This is awesome. So this is what we're doing. Right now, I'm going to get in the car, and we're going to start driving. Watch out, Bez, get in the back, go. We're gonna start driving, and I'm just gonna update you guys along the way. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna make the video as I go. We'll see what happens. Straight to stay on I-215 North. Signs for I-15 North Barstow. Continue for 58 miles. All right, so this is my first time ever trying a quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's. By the way, we're going to Vegas right now. See it, see it, Vegas, Vegas, it said Vegas. Anyways, this is pretty good, dude. I didn't realize the patty was so big. This is like a big deal. Like I need to eat these every single day for every single meal. Hey, Mrs. Bears, have I got a question for you. And that question goes something along the lines of, <gasps> do you wanna go party? <gasps> do you wanna go for what? Let's go, come on, let's go for a walk, come on. The Bills is like, get me out of there. The Bills wants a walk, I can tell. The Bills likes to go for 22 walks a day, so she didn't want to wait all those hours in the car. But you know what, we had to get some progress in because we were sitting in traffic all day when we were getting a chaparral. But check it out, here we go. We got the setup, we got the Gordini, we got the big old freaking 1500 pound load on the back. But yeah, the price is just getting a little too warm. Like when you feel the center console, it's literally hot, which has never happened before. So it kind of has me a little worried. So we're just gonna walk around for a little while. And then, and then we're gonna take off up that hill up there. So we're still gonna sit here for a little while. Let's see if it's still hot. It's actually still hot. Jeez, I don't know why. There's no stupid temperature gauge in this car. That's the dumb thing. 
there's no way to tell the temperature unless you like buy some aftermarket part and plug it in. There's no way to tell. Like what kind of freaking design is that? I mean, I guess it makes sense because the tow capacity is zero pounds and I'm towing like seven million, but I mean, come on, man. Vegas is currently 55 minutes away and there's a couple mountains in between us and Vegas. So let's see if we make it, Prius. Come on, Prius. Hey Bears, we're in Vegas. You wanna go bet all your yummies? You wanna go bet all your yummies, Bears? No, I'm gonna give you some yummies, but you can't bet your yummies, Bears, because you'll probably lose them. And then what? Then you're just gonna beg me for more. There you go, you can have some yummies. She didn't even want them. Nope, she didn't want them. She wants to go bet them over at that big light over there, but she's not gonna do it. All right, well, we're here. We're at Walmart. This is where I'm planning on sleeping tonight. I'm gonna have to clean out this back seat. As you can see right here, we got a big old mess and we got a cute Bears. So the Bills and I are gonna have to clean it out. It is 11.30 p.m. right now. We were stuck in a lot of traffic just because we left at the worst day, the worst time, but I mean, I had to go get the bikes from Chaparral on the way. They were getting worked on and they were just ready by today. So I'm gonna go prep the back and I'll show you what it looks like after we're done. So we have Bales' bed on the left, my bed's right here, and this is all the crap that I need to organize tomorrow. The reason it's not organized, as you know, is because I was trying to leave quickly. I have room for it though. Ooh, there's a plane taking off. You hear that? Freaking jet engines, man. All right, we're gonna go to bed, okay? Go, on your side. Go over there. Good girl. I mean, for you guys who've been watching for a while, you know what's good, you know what's going on. You know exactly how I do it, but I mean, there's a lot of room back here. If you put the seat down, it's just like a full-size twin bed. It's really nice, I love it. I love the Prius. And I've never slept in here with the Bales, but it's a first time for everything, right Bales? We're gonna be doing this every night. Every single night, unless we can find a hotel that allows you. If we can do that, we'll bring you in. It's about 1.42 in the morning. This dude just knocked on my window and he was driving a Prius and he was like, you're not allowed to sleep here overnight. And I was like, okay. And then he like got in his Prius and drove away. Ah. I have a confession to make. It's a pretty, pretty bad confession. I don't know if I even wanna tell you guys I don't even know if I should put this in the video but I messed up I really did I messed up and what I did was I freaking went the wrong way how did I do this like should I even tell you this is so stupid all right so I started about right here let's say I drove up I was supposed to go that way and I literally went that way like bad like bad like, how did I do that? So I'm gonna cut through like the mountains and destroy my car, and I'm gonna get over to Flagstaff. It's one in the morning. This dude ruined my sleep, so I'm freaking driving. All right, it's 4 a.m. now. I've been driving for several hours. Look at this guy, he's cruising. What's this guy doing? I love that guy. Anyways, it's 4 a.m. I'm driving for a couple hours. Found a Walmart, there's people out here camping, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go to sleep. See you in the morning. Okay, it's about 8 a.m. and I woke up to a bunch of people going into Walmart trying to stare at me. I should really get some tinted windows. This is so awkward. And I had like no shirt on so I had to sit up and like find a shirt and put it on. And there was just like people. They were staring at the bikes. But then they saw us in here and it was just freaking awkward. Like I should have, like look at this guy. I should have set an alarm or something. What are you looking at? What is it? He was, he was looking at me. Rise and shine. It's time to go potty. Come on. Go potty. Go potty. Potty. You gotta go potty. Where are you going? Go potty. Potty. You gotta go potty. Look it. It's like Arizona colored stuff. It's all red. That's cool. It's like the Prius. It's fast rocks. Do you want yummies, Bears? All right, Mrs. Bears. I got a very important question for you. <gasps> oh my goodness. No, stay there. She almost went. And now, we shall say... Thank you! Very good, you bears. There's people, they can hear me. And guess what, I don't care. I don't care, you're working on a car over there, I don't care. Your bitch is like, thank you! 
Very cute, cute wheels. SSR has been so good to me about like me being an idiot on these bikes and they just kind of fix them up because obviously it's their parts. They get them for really cheap, but I mean, still, I shouldn't really be doing that, but I was going to return the bike to them and they were like, yeah, just keep it, man. Just keep the bike. And I was like, oh, I guess. Thank you. I get to go and fix the engine now, but I really am grateful. That's a really big deal that I get to just keep this bike. Like this bike's nice. I love this bike. This is the bike that I let people borrow, and I ride sometimes too, and I want to let people ride the cat nader. All right, Bess, come here. Okay, good. All right, well, I still haven't organized the car. I want to pull everything back out and just take like a decent amount of time to organize everything, but in this area of Arizona, it's kind of hot. Plus, I haven't eaten anything yet, so I want to get on the road, do a little bit of driving, find somewhere to eat. Come on, let's go in the car. We're going to go find somewhere good to eat, and then I'll organize a little bit later. It's probably gonna keep being hot, but maybe not. We'll see. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we found the prime breakfast. We found the donkey. The donkey Papa D, except I gotta go in there. Can I get a, an oyster? Oyster? We got the dunk. We got the bagel, it's in there. They finally had the everything bagel. They never have it. All right, we are in Flagstafferoni and cheese. We would have been here earlier, but I mean, we took the wrong turn. I'm gonna have to blame you for that because you know I can't take responsibility for my stupid actions. Are you taking a Flagstaff dump bills? Yeah, you see what this means? You see what this is right here? It says what you are. It says what you are for dinner time, bears. You're a cookie. I don't know if you can read it, but it says good girl. Oh, the bears, you're kicking in the wrong direction. That's not even where your poop is. There's no poop over there. You see, no poop. All right, so a little bit of history about Flagstaff while we're here. The reason that this city was built was because they built a car dealership here back in 1822, right after Chris Columbus sailed the ocean in his speedboat. And they built this. This was the staff, and then they put the flag on top of it. And they've been adding stars over the years, you know, as you know, they make more uh, oceans in our country. And so that's how Flagstaff came to be. We got the flag. We got the staff, we got the bag of poop, we got the bales, we got all these cars, and people that used to come from all over the place. This used to be the only car dealership in America. Like if you lived in Maine, you'd have to drive all the way over to Flagstaff, pick yourself up a car, and the rest is history. So it's great that I get to finally witness this with my own beacons. All right, Bears, you did it. Good job. Good job on the walk. Good job with a big fat butt. You see this? I don't know if it showed last time, but it says, Kick you. We're passing by Perkins Valley Road right now. I don't know what that is, but I just figured you might want to know. Then we're going to pass by Golf Course Road. You know, I'm sure there's a golf course there. You know, I'm sure they waste a lot of water keeping it green. But you know what? That's what you got to do around the Perkins Valley area, you know, because, you know, there's just a lot of red stuff. Everything's red, so it's either you have a red golf course or a green one, right? All right, Mr. Mobile Home, do you agree? Do you agree, Mr. Mobile Home? I think he disagrees, but he's like a red truck, so he's kind of like a, an example of that. He didn't have enough water, so he turned red. All right, as you can see, we've got the record low petrol weight price, $3.04.9. point nine. Like Bez, by our house, it's $4.49. That's the year I was born. Can you believe it? You got your rabies vaccine, Bez. I'm very proud of you. Good job. Oh, dude, it says one free popcorn with the purchase of $15. What? We need to hit $15. We got to get that free popcorn. We got to somehow fit an extra five bucks in there. Oh my, I'm making a mess. Oh, are you kidding me, dude? You, you got to be kidding me. This dude in this Farmer Brown pickup truck just nailed my Papa Prius. You run into me, sir. You ran into me. Yeah, I know it's fixed. Uh, it. We do got some damage though. We got this scratch, we got a crack, and yeah, this thing, know. this thing fell off. It's over there. Where? Yeah, you hit it off. This is it. It's on the ground. It's broken. Is it? Yes, sir. Oh, I'm gonna have to check your license plate, sir. Oh, veteran, I appreciate it. Thank you for your service. Unfortunately, you should know how to drive your trailer, and if you're gonna sit here and deny that you did anything wrong, I'll see you in court. We got some crazy lightning storm ahead. I mean, it's not crazy, but it just keeps doing that every like couple seconds. We're not used to that in California, so when you see stuff like that, like lightning going every few seconds in the background, you see like all the clouds and it's crazy looking, 
it's kind of freaky. We're just not used to it. But the people around here, it's like, yo, that's what happens, man. It happens every single night. Stop being a freaking wuss. All right, so we started at 8 this morning. It's 11.15, and I'm freaking dying, dude. I took a couple of energy drinks. I tried Venoms today because they were 99 cents, and they made me crash so hard. And so about an hour ago, I was ready to go to bed, and I typed in Walmart, and this was the only one. It was like an hour and 17-minute drive. I was literally dying. But I didn't fall asleep. I didn't die. We're here. I gotta walk the bales really quick, and I'll catch you before we go to bed. Two Papa Cleb and Missy's bears. Bears, this is for you. Come here. Come on. What do we got? What do we got, bears? We got some stuff. Oh, oh what the? We got another taco. Bears, you <laughs> Bears, you already have a taco. You got a new taco. Cleb, sorry to hear about the sweet bales. I brought her a taco. Hopefully it gives you guys some joy. Please give her a kiss for me. Mm -hmm. Well, there's no name, but I really appreciate it. This is awesome. The bales loves her taco. I love playing, get that taco bears. But she kind of destroyed her last one. So we have a new one. We can play that as soon as we get to the new house. Get the taco. Do you wanna get the taco? Do you wanna get it, please, get it. Ready? Get it, please, get it. You want the taco? Do you want the taco? Do you want the taco? Get it, please, get it. Get the taco. Get it. <laughs> she got it. She loves it. Look it. Get it, bitch. Get it. Well, she got it for a second. I think she's just really tired because she can't sleep when we're in the car. The roads are so bumpy that there's no way she can fall asleep. And the bell sleeps all day, pretty much. Like, that's what dogs do. Besides when they're going for walks or like we're doing stuff, the bell's just a sleeper. So I'm sure she's like extra tired. She's been trying to sleep. Like I feel so bad. I can tell that she's just trying to sleep. Oh, your bears is cuddling. It's so sweet, bears. Anyways, we're going to go to bed because the bears needs to get sleep. And we need to wake up early to get back on the road, all right? So say goodnight, bears. Goodnight. You look weird with the light right there, bears. You look like you're going to tell me a scary story. There was once a boy, and his name was Patrick Dinwoody. And he came into the forest. He was actually a boy cat. And I came and I ate him all up for dinner. Good morning, Bales. Welcome to Loves. Does she want yummies? <gasps> Kiki! What is this? It's like freaking California. We got a toll. I did this trip before and I didn't pay no toll. I've came around this road like twice. Is this a new toll? Man, I thought all these freaking Republican states didn't like their tolls. I thought that was California, the scum of the earth. We hate California and all your freaking tolls and taxes. Well, guess what? You guys got tolls now too, so screw it. I'm going back to California. It's the same thing. Yo, Bills, you got any cash? You got any, you got any cash under there? Oh, 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 what? A 20? Thank you, Bills. Thanks. Ugh. Okay, so I just found out something that I have to take advantage of because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity until of course I come back here. And that is apparently you can text and drive in this state. So I'm gonna take out my phone and I'm gonna text to Linky and then I'm gonna say, you are a baby and I am going to get your binky soon. Don't you worry. There, I sent it. I'm texting you. Look, hey, look, I didn't die. Does anybody know why it's legal to text and drive here? Like, it seems kind of dangerous to me. You look down at your phone for a second, and you're looking, and then you look up, and you're like going over here into someone else's car. Like, well, what's up with that, dude? What's up with that, bears? What's going on? And they don't even wear helmets here. So you're gonna be texting, driving, hitting somebody, helmet, no helmet, gonna die in the grass over there. And Bell's gonna roll around on top of him. I just found that out and I, I had to do it. I had to do it. All right, Bells, we're in the LOU. There's Delinky. He's coming with us, I guess. I didn't think he was coming. We said a goodbye together and then now he's coming, but whatever. We got some freaking sports arena. All right, Bells, what I want you to check out is that arch over there. It's a really famous big arch. Can you see it? Oh, it's gone. There it is. It doesn't even look like an arch. It just looks like a tower. There it is. Look at that. That's the big world famous meatball marinara, Bales a nationalist arch. What do you think, Bales? Is that everything you thought it would be? And more? What would more be? Like peanut butter? Is it everything you thought it would be in peanut butter? 
I think that's a pretty accurate description of that arch. Everything I thought it would be plus peanut butter. Okay, so currently we have 16 hours and 12 minutes remaining, 1,058 miles until we get there. So we're about two thirds of the way there. Now, I wanna get there tomorrow. 16 hours, that would be pretty late if I were to stop right now. I think what I'm gonna do, and this is what I've done on a lot of my road trips, but I didn't feel like doing it this time. I just wanted to drive during the day and sleep all night and get a full night's sleep. But I think just to crank this bad boy out, finish it up with time, peace, tranquility and butternut squash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive all throughout the night. I'm gonna take short naps if I get too tired and start falling asleep. And then I'm just gonna keep going again, get back on the road and just do a little bit at a time. Like every hour I'll stop, I'll take a little nap, whatever I feel like I need. And so without any further ado, let the games begin, Bales. What is this thing? This is just like a, what is that? Oh, is that a puppy? I can't even tell. I wonder if it'll come over here. What is this butt, Bears? What is this big fat butt? What is this big fat, big fat butt? What is this big fat butt, butt? The dog's getting closer. Oh my God, I don't even know what to do. Look at this scene right here. The bell spots the dog. Bears, who is that? Who is that doggy over there? I wanna go let her play, but I don't wanna take her up to some random dog that I don't know. It's okay. How you doing? How you doing? Hello, dear. How's it going? How's it going, puppy dogs? Oh, you're so nice. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Oh, yes. What's your name? You got a name tag? You got a name tag? What's your name? Harley? Oh, Harley. You're a big puppy. That's going to be a huge dog. Oh, my God. Because that's the sweetest puppy ever, just like you. I'm not going to let you guys play. I don't know what's going to happen or like if the owners would even want that. Bye, Harley. Hope you have a good life in Illinois. I don't know where you went. So I went in there and I tried to just order a slice of pizza. They said that you can't do that. So I ordered the smallest pizza they had. Let's see how it looks. What? Is that pepperoni? I ordered pepperoni. Where's the pepperoni? Oh, it's under the cheese, okay. Cool, pepperoni. Then we got the salad with ranch and a big old Coke. And guess what? Seven bucks, it was only seven bucks for all this stuff, which is like a really good deal compared to what we're used to, right, Bells? You wanna try a piece? You wanna try some pizza? Does she want to try some pizza? This is an awkward angle. Be careful. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What do you think? Is it good? What do you rate it? One lick? Two licks? Three licks? Three licks out of four, that's pretty good. We made it to Ohio. I'm actually following the route that the Bear 5000, Randy Bear 5K, he actually gave me this watch. Check it out. It's a beautiful, freaking manly, sophisticated, and juicy watch. And uh, he recommended this route. He actually lives here in Ohio. Uh, he actually just holograms himself over to California. I can't really explain how he does that unless I had a couple of fake mustaches as props which I don't have and I doubt that they sell any in there. So you're just gonna have to believe me for it. Anyways, I just finally started to feel tired. Like the cars in front of me started to turn into broccoli. I don't know if you guys like drive for a long time, you'll know what I'm talking about. You just start to kind of hallucinate and then start to fall asleep. So I instantly got off and I'm gonna fill up the prior use just a little bit. I just filled it up a little while ago. It's pretty much almost full, but I'm gonna top her off and then I'm gonna pull over somewhere and take my first little snooze. Belle's gonna snooze too, she's been awake. She's been like trying to snooze, like I hear her falling asleep, but then she'll immediately wake up as soon as I go over a bump. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Are you stuck? What is going on? What are you doing? I'm, she's pushing me out. She's pushing me out. What is wrong with you? Oh crap. Oh crap. I just backed up into the thing. I just backed up into the curb. <laughs> Let's see what just happened. Nothing. She like desperately needed to get out. Let's see what the big rush was. What was the big rush, Bales? Oh, okay. Thank you, Bales. I was gonna let you do that anyway, but good girl, cool, all right. I hope I can talk. Okay, I can talk. I haven't said anything yet. Uh, so, mission was a failure. I woke up after like an hour or two and then I just set another alarm and then I don't even know what happened. I must've just turned my alarm off because now it's 5.23 and I'm still sitting here. Also, we have a, a Can-Am. Is that a Can-Am? A Can-Am, cool. 
All right, let's get out of here, Bills. We gotta do the final stretch. The final stretch. Good morning. How you doing? Did you sleep good? <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> You're so cute, Bills. You're so cute. <laughs> Check out my breakfast, guys. This is why I could never be a trucker. I just eat like this every single meal until I exploded. All right, update. We out here. We driving through Akron, the city of Akron. Shout out to Akron. Cleveland, this is for you. Strap for greatness, young kings. Hey, Bills, what are you doing? Are you making your bed? The Bills was just scratching and clawing. She was trying to make her bed. But then as soon as I catch her, you stop. Like that's a guilty, oh, there she goes. Get it, Bills, get it. Get it, Bills, get it. You see the crocodile? The crocodile's under you. You should get that. So we're kind of bored. We're in Pennsylvania right now. And every time we drive through Pennsylvania, I've done it four times. The roads that go through Pennsylvania are so freaking boring. And it's just up and down, up and down, up and down the entire way through. And what happens is a truck will get stuck behind another truck that's going slower. And it'll rip out in front of you because it's all two lane roads. And then the truck on the right's going like 30. And the one that passes it is going like 40. But you're still stuck going 40. And really, I want to be going like 200. So that happens. Look at this. $2 only, and I ate them all. Every single one. Every single, how many servings is this? This is 4.5 servings. I ate it all in one. What are you doing back here? Hey. <laughs> She's so cute. She made her own bed. I was watching her make it for like the past 20 minutes. And then she finally got comfortable. So I'm really just trying to bang out the rest of this trip now. I'm so done. I'm gonna make it within 72 hours almost, give or take a few hours. So I clearly chose no tolls on my app just because I didn't wanna deal with having to pay the tolls, having to figure out how to make an account. And it's taking me across this freaking bridge. And it's a freaking toll. I just went through the toll thing, I got scanned. I don't mind tolls, but I can't even pay in cash. So I gotta go online and I gotta figure out exactly which road I'm on and type it all in. It's gonna be a hassle. Okay, so my license plate fell off in New Mexico, which is like the third state we were in and i haven't gotten pulled over i've talked to my cop friend he said i would definitely get pulled over and there's a cop right up there and that was the first cop that has passed me from behind this entire trip which is freaking crazy to me like i've been waiting for it i've been waiting for a cop to come up behind me see that i had no license plate pull me over and then i have to explain myself but it hadn't happened until right now and i'm only two hours away from home and so bells kind of thought that was like a rare item in game and she wanted me to tell you guys about it all right we're going through new york right now there's traffic and there's trash everywhere to include all of their sports teams. And uh, next stop, should be home. Are you excited? The best has yummies on the ground, she won't eat them. Hey. That's a good girl, Bears. You're so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. Our Bears is just looking out the window. There is just looking out the window in New York. Yeah, that's a New Yorker Bears. That's a New York style edition. Look how cute the Bears is. It feels so weird. Like I just drove all the way across the country. I mean, I've done it before but it always feels so weird. Like, I'm just here now. I recognize it. All of a sudden, you just start to recognize stuff. All right, we made it. We're here. Should we be stealthy? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Crap, I bet you they heard me. I don't know what to do. Come here. <laughs> What's going on? Vius, come here. Hey. hey. <laughs> What'd you say? What? She walked she walked in. What's going on? Sid. What? Hi. Thinks it's me. It's Jim. You gotta get her. The best has explosive diarrhea right now. Oh, it's a beer. Hey. Best, come here. Oh, the best is trying to roll around. We're supposed to be surprising your grandma, best. Come on. Hey. 
Where are you going? Finally. What the heck, I didn't think you were here. They were like, we were like talking about it. They were like, you're probably in Pennsylvania. That's what they said. Pennsylvania? They all thought you were in Pennsylvania. I don't know why. Oop, Sydney found this. Hi. How are you? Out of 3,000. 3,000. Bill doesn't care. Bill doesn't care. Pick your wheels. So it is now day horseradish squawker triangle, and I am here with the Mrs. Bales. We're here at my parents' house. My brother and sister are at school. My dad's working. My mom's somewhere else. But we got these surfboards right here to keep us company, so we don't got to worry about anything like that. Plus, we got this discontinued. Look at this. This is a discontinued Kleb helmet. If you were able to buy it, and you ride motorcycles, then you freaking have it. But if you didn't get it, and you're never gonna get it again because it's sold out. Sold out, we're not making any more. And what we have here is we have some mail. We gotta open some mail because I promised, I guaranteed that I was gonna open all this mail in this video to the people that sent it to me. And so I feel like I have to. I wanna save it for another video, but you know what, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna stay true to my word. I'm gonna stay true to my kneecaps. You see these kneecaps? They're right there, there's another one, looks exactly the same, and we're gonna stay true to those caps, right? That's what I thought. Package number one. Package number one. Package number one. Package number one. Oh, that worked. Finally, it worked. What do we got, Bills? What do we got in here? I don't know what it is, but usually they have something to do with you. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, whoa. What do we got? We got the... The Sig 15 Puppy Bad Boy Snapback. Oh my God, it is for you, Bills. Oh yeah, looking good, Bills. You looking good. You looking hood, Bills. Wait, what? You don't like it? You don't like Bills? Come on. Oh. Oh well, I guess I'll wear it. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. I really like hats. I've been really into hats lately. Delinky actually got me into hats. And so, Bales clearly isn't into hats, but you know, if you send Bales any hats, I'm probably just gonna steal them from her, like this one, and I'm gonna wear them. Now we also have, in here, we got a lot of stuff. Look at all this stuff, dude. This is like the jackpot. Why did I wait so long to open this? Whoa! We got a pocket knife. Look at this thing. Oh, man. This is real stuff, dude. I'm gonna be freaking using this when I have a spare hand so I can actually open it. Look at this thing. It's got all kinds of stuff. We got the saw, we got the knife, we got the screwdriver, we got this... This pointy thing right here, wow. We got the beer opener, it's gonna open up all my beers when I watch the game. You know, Bella's gonna have a beer even if you know she feels confident enough. We got this American flag patch, which we would, you know, stick to the Bella. You know, everything's kind of for Bella's, kind of for me. It's like a Bella's me combo. But most importantly, most importantly of all, we have this. Da -da 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 -da! I gotta add batteries to it. You wanna eat it? Here, eat it, eat it, bitch. Eat it, eat it. We got all types of patches. We got some stickers. Just take a look. Take a look. They're going to be going in various different places. We got the smiley face, Max Petition. Max Petitione. But most also importantly, we have something that regardless if it's for the bales or not, it is going to be used for the bales to... <gasps> hey. What's this? Do you know what you gotta do with this, Bears? You gotta, you gotta, get it, Bears, get it. <laughs> get it, Bears, get it. Now give me that back, Bears. Give me that back right now. No, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta give me that back. Now you gotta, you gotta, get it, Bears, get it. Thank you. Okay, I let Bears get it once, but I'm not 100% sure if you wanted me to give this to her, so let me know. And if you do, then you can continue to play with it, Bears. But for now, I'm gonna hide it under this pillow and you may never see it again. Wow, look at that, we got this too. This is the purple boy, purple bad boy. I made this thing in arts and crafts back in 1942. I lost it in the drain and you found it and you sent it back to me. So thank you so much. What else we got in here? We got, oh my, we got some stuff. United States Marine veteran, look at that. Jeez, five bucks for that, thank you so much. That's so generous of you. Hey, Jimmy of the TJA and Learning Center. My name is Casey, I have been talking to you on Insta. You got me into dirt biking, now my backyard is a track. Really? Your backyard, that's pretty cool. And I've been watching you since you were in the military. Tell Bells I love her. Hey Bells, hey, come here. I gotta tell you something, it's very important. Casey loves you. Insta, at Casey1017123. YouTube, 
Spike Professor, P.S. The hat and stuff is for my mom's work and I made the keychains. Me and my fam watch you all the time. Also, Delinky and you should check out Scott Cran Moran YouTube. P.S. I'm 12, that's why my handwriting sucks. Thank you so much, Casey. I need a piece, oh, it's in my mind. I need a piece of it to be a part of me forever. And next up on the important train of stuff that has been sent to me. It worked. What do we have here? We got the custom stamp sheet. Oh my, no, you're kidding me. Are these real? These are not, these are not real. Oh my, Bez, come here. Bez, check it out. We got custom stamps, dude. Do we get the custom stamps? I got a question for you, Bez. Do we have custom stamps? Do you know what they are? She didn't know what they are, but after she sniffs them, she's like, oh yeah, those are custom stamps. Check it out, dude. We got the Bales and Cleb Papa stamp right there. Is this real? Will these actually work? What is this? What is this? Custom stamp sheet. Bales is such a good girl, she needed her very own postage stamp. And I can't leave out the Papa Cleb because he gives great hugs. Yes, this postage is real. Bez, we're gonna have to send this to all the Patreons because whenever we get Patreons, we send them something and we are gonna have to send them something using these Bales custom stamps. Look at that. Unfortunately, it doesn't say who it's from. I don't see where it's from. Is it from anywhere? I don't know, but it's to me and Bales. Thank you so much to whoever sent that. This is actually freaking awesome. The Grand Slam, Grand Finale Jam. What do we have in here? Oh my goodness, bears, we got some treats. We got some treats for the bears. Oh my goodness. What do we got? We got, a, what is this? We got a dunk gift card. We got a dunk gift card. We got the treats for the club. Then we got the treats for the bears. Bears, what is this? <gasps> What's this? We got some bones. <gasps> hey. <gasps> oh, this is bears' favorite kind of thing. We got the turkey sweet potato jerky. Do you want some? Do you really want some? <gasps> Turkey sweet potato jerky? Does she want it so bad we? Hang on. If you want this, then what you're gonna have to do is. <gasps> get it, please, get it! Yummy, 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 yummy! And it looks like that's not it. So what else to. Shut up. Shut up, Bez. Oh, we got a crocodile. We got another crocodile. Literally, the Bez's crocodile has recently perished and died. A tragic death because the Bez ruined the squeaker inside of it. She never like bites her toys up and rips all the foam out, luckily, but she unfortunately, she like broke the squeaker because this is her favorite toy. It's a crocodile and she chewed it all up and now it's kind of like less exciting because the squeaker bob is broken, but we got another one. We got a replacement crocodile, so. Get that crocodile. Oh, she got it. She got it. The best knows. The best like, I love my crocodile. I love my crocodile. <clears throat> I hope the best. Thank you. Love some of these treats. She always makes me smile. Love, Rayanne. Is that how you say it? R-A-Y-A-N-N-E. Thank you so much. Wow. I don't know why. Like, I don't open the packages enough. I feel bad because they're always, like, so great. It shows me how much everybody loves all the stuff that we got going on in this channel. And, I don't know, like, it kind of makes me realize, you know, people actually are invested. And they pay attention to the things that the Bales and I are doing in our lives. You know, it really means a lot. As you guys know, I haven't been making videos lately. That's because I got in here and it's been really stressful. Isaac's about to get home from school. But we're probably gonna end it before he gets here. But it's been just stressful. Like, I've had to do so much stuff. I gotta buy all this stuff for my big home. And, you know, it's just like not stuff that I really think would be interesting in the video. Like, oh, I gotta go buy a freaking drawer liner. Like, do you guys really wanna see me do that? No. But it's stuff that's gotta be done. And I gotta have my house done so I can make some good videos in it with me and the bales, all that stuff. But, anyways, it's been like two weeks and the house is pretty much done. So, we're gonna start making some videos in the new house starting next video. And with that, I wanna thank you so much for watching this long adventure. The Bears have got a crocodile, I'm so happy about it. And so with that, the Bells and I wanna thank you so much for watching, and we will see you soon on the Puppy Bad Boy next one. <gasps> Ready, Bez? Get it, Bez, get it! Do you have a new crocodile? Is this a new one? Isaac's home. The bitch got a new crocodile. <gasps> the bitch got a new crocodile. New crocodile. You gotta do the maybe. <gasps> yeah. Does she possibly want to get this new crocodile? The bitch wants it so bad. Do you want it? You gotta get it. You gotta get it. I'm up in the tree. I'm up in the tree. Get it, get it. Get it, get it.